Who's fight political and economic unrest in South Africa? Many big gold fund portfolio managers continue to invest in shares of South African mining companies. In fact, some are even upping the percentage of shares they own. An informal survey of several large gold funds showed portfolio managers aggressively buying South African shares. The portfolio managers say South African gold mining companies return the highest dividend yields. The fund managers say they're just trying to get the best return for their investors. For instance, Western Holdings, a South African gold mining company, has returned better than 10% over the last 12 months. In comparison, Campbell Red Lake, a Canadian gold mining company, has returned less than 1%. And Echo Bay, another Canadian company, returned just 1% over the last year. As gold prices have risen in recent weeks, more money has poured into gold mutual funds. And despite what large managers tell us, Marty McNeil says some gold fund managers are diverting new money into northern shares because of tensions in South Africa. But if you're a fund manager and you see this all coming out on the TV and the radio, say, I have to cut back my position because if this thing breaks apart, how am I going to get out of my 75% investment? Despite uneasiness by some, South African officials aren't worried, at least publicly, about any divestment. If gold rises and shares of South African mining companies decline, that will be a key sign that fund managers are liquidating those positions and taking their money elsewhere. Todd Benjamin, CNN, New York. A new trend in Hollywood is allowing... President Reagan is speaking to the European Parliament in Strasbourg, France, proposing a so-called new framework for dealing with the Soviets. Also, with the Senate bogged down over a budget plan offered by Republicans, Democrats will propose several new spending plans. And in London, Paris, and dozens of other cities, they're remembering VE Day, the day the lights came back as ago. From ABC News, this is World News This Morning for Wednesday, May 8, 1985. 6 a.m. Uh, the banks and shops have been closed since midday yesterday. There are several thousand people gathered in this square in the center of Strasbourg for a sort of salute to America. They're this day, May 8, 1945, President Reagan is in Strasbourg, France, delivering a speech to the European Parliament. It's a steady effort to reduce tensions with the Soviets. Mr. Reagan is speaking to the European Parliament. More now from Pierre Salinger. The solemn observance of the 40th anniversary of the end of World War II started this morning with a mass in Strasbourg's historic medieval cathedral. Making some proposals to the Soviet Union on arms control and other things that... ...against Nicaragua demands that the U.S. reduce its troop strength in Spain and the upcoming referendum on whether Spain should remain in NATO. American officials who briefed newsmen after the talks said the president and Spanish officials agree on a peaceful democratic solution in Nicaragua, but that they disagree on whether the Sandinistas have abandoned democracy entirely and moved totally into the Soviet camp. This is top of the news this morning. President Reagan is winding up his tour of Europe, meeting in Lisbon with the leaders of Portugal. Also this morning, the Soviets formally marked the anniversary of the E-Day with a giant military parade through Moscow. And in an exclusive interview, Richard Nixon defends President Reagan's visit to a German war cemetery, saying that West Germany is our strongest ally in Europe. Once President Reagan... Morning for Thursday, May 9th, 1985. It's 6 a.m. Now from our New York news desk, Steve Bell and Kathleen Sullivan. Good morning, everyone. It appears now that uh, the easiest step may have been saved for last. On a trip in which he has been questioned sharply about U.S. policies and criticized for visiting a German war cemetery, President Reagan is now in Portugal. As Soviet leader Mikhail this fall, the president will meet with him. A by socialists and communists in the European Parliament. And uh, also Mozambique will be high on the agenda. Mozambique used to be a colony, a Portuguese colony, and uh, President Yanish is interested in keeping it not aligned rather than turning it to communism, and the president is uh, of that same mind. And Mr. Reagan is also encouraging uh, the uh, Portuguese interest here in, in uh, lining up economically and military with Western European uh, defense, uh, defense uh, position. Bob, thank you very much. The Soviet Union today marks the anniversary of the D.E. Day with a Red Square Parade. The U.S. ambassador voiced out at the ceremony to protest the recent shooting of an American officer by 
Soviet soldier in East Germany. Mark Phillips. As promised, today's Red Square Parade was a nostalgic look back and a glimpse of what the future could bring. Hundreds of war veterans, their medals shining on their chests, led the parade, heroes and heroines of the Soviet Union.